All right, so we are here for the diverging convergent engagement exercise. I have Andy Smith and Jeff Linares here. So today we're gonna to be focusing on convergent thinking. So the exercise I have planned here is the remote associates test. Now, just to give you a little bit of background, also known as the RAT, it's a <laughs> test of creative potential. It was developed by Martha Mednick in 1962 and has since been considered a very valid measure of creativity. Shout out Martha. Creativity is an aspect of your personality, more specific, the trait of openness uh, which you experienced during the big five personality model. So a way to test this creativity is the RAT or the remote associates test. So I'm gonna give Andy and Jeff the directions for the engagement activity here, and they will further understand uh, the next steps in this convergent um, thinking exercise. So here are the directions. So each RAT question presents three keywords that will be linked to a fourth word, which will be the correct answer. Uh, a key of convergent thinking is, you know, leading to that one answer. So uh, a typical person will be able to solve most of um, these questions I'm going to give you guys, um, but it can be a little bit challenging if you're not um, well gauged in convergent thinking. So we're going to run through about 10 of these and we'll kind of wrap up in the end and see if Andy and Jeff um, got close to what we were looking for here. Let's see, brother. Okay, so here are your first words. Cottage, Swiss, and cake. So there's one correct answer. Jeff? Which one is that? You have to not really? No, you have to add on the oh, fourth oh, word. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's uh, one correct answer. Can you repeat that please? Cottage, Swiss, and cake. Cheese. Jeff? I think cottage and Swiss. I'm not sure where the cake, the cake comes from, but I think cheese, those are pretty, Nice. nice cheese, cheese is the correct answer. Oh, let's go. Ding, ding, ding. Next, we have cream, skate, and water. Jeff? Soda pop. Okay. Uh, party? The correct answer was ice. Mm. Next, we have... Oh, that makes sense, yeah, actually. Next, we have loser, throat, and spot. Jeffrey? The Grizzlies? The Grizzlies? LeBron? <laughs> um, um, loser, throats, and spots. Yep. Um, towel? Okay. I, um, basketball. Mm. Basketball. The correct answer is sore. Sore. Okay, next we have okay. show, life, Row. Lifeboat. Okay. Um, movie theater. Okay. The correct answer was boat. We'll give that one to Jeff. The boat. <laughs> so we have night, wrist, and stop. Watch. Aww. Book it. I was going to say watch too, but I guess UCF, nights. Okay. Mm. The correct answer was watch. Book it. Great job, Andy. Guaranteed. All right, so we have duck, fold, and dollar. Wallet. Rubber. Oh, uh, now nah, let's see a pity. Um, <laughs> rubber duck. <laughs> okay, the correct answer was bill. Oh, wow. All right, so duck. we have rocking, <laughs> wheel, and high. Hippie? Jeff? <laughs> I'm a rocking chair. <laughs> Like the correct answer different. was chair. Hey! Oh, good job, Jeff. The chair, man. Now we have do, comb, and be. Honey. Ah, uh, be. Oh, you said be. <laughs> um, what, what are those things called? The uh, honey comb? The correct answer was honey. <laughs> the fountain. All right, so we have fountain, baking, Pop. Baking or bacon? Baking. Like when you bake. Oh, so baking. Yeah, baking. Uh, tray. Oven. Wait, you said oven is one of them? No. Fountain, baking, pop. Also, I think birthday. Okay. The correct answer was soda. Oh. And for our final question, oh, we have okay. preserve, 
Ranger, tropical, tropical. forest. Forest. The correct answer was forest. Wow, good one. Great, Thank Great job, gentlemen. Thank you, man. Great job, gentlemen. Just to close out the exercise, I would just love to get um, y'all's opinions on this convergent thinking ex exercise, also known as the remote associates test. Start us off, Jeff. Um, I think it really made me think and explore new areas of my brain that I did not know um, were existing. I really had to um, piece together all these clues. Sure, they're all one word, like baking, soda, pop. Mm -hmm. um, oh no, the answer was soda. Um, yep. You know, it's just random words, so you try to have to, you open up like a creative side of your mind, you're digging deep to try to find a connection to these. So I yeah. thought it was really cool. I think it was a great mind exercise. Mm -hmm. I think it's good to, Let's find out how some of your team members think, if that's what okay. it's related to. So, in other words, this could be applicable to you as a future leader. No, absolutely. Absolutely. It's just a, you would absolutely. use the remote associate test? Absolutely. Uh, it oh, shows okay. me how, how deep of a thinker this person is, how deep can they go into their mind, into their brain. And mm. Yes, I, I really believe in this test. Awesome. Andy, any final thoughts? Um, so in simple terms, uh, I think this exercise was really cool. Um, kind of like Jeff touched on, there were some like pairs of three words that were easy mm. to get, but then some were a little bit tougher. A little more challenging. So I think it's interesting how you can just hear three words and how people can think of a different word. Exactly. You know, so wow. that just touches on kind of like how you were saying, yes. how leaders, kind of think differently mm. and how That's when you have point. a group of people together you know we're trying to be diverse and with a diverse group of people they're not all the same obviously also it's in the work yes you know? exactly and, and to add i think that it's a fun exercise to do with a team to run yeah. with your team it's good that it engages all of our minds and brains and we're all engaged we're not all in there just wondering what time it is and when, when are we gonna get out of here i think it's a fun exercise it's a good team building exercise I, I'm, I'm a big fan Awesome. Big fan of the rap. Well, this was the rap exercise. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Let's just change the name.